Our acceleration is equal to the velocity over time, which therefore means that acceleration is a vector quantity because it has velocity in it, which is a vector quantity, right? And so if A is equal to V over T, suppose we're looking for V, are we looking for T? How do we do that? We've been doing it all along, and so this should be easy now. You put A over 1, right? And you will transpose. You'll be left with AT equal to V. And voila! Therefore, V is equal to acceleration times time. Cool. And now, once again, we're searching for T. So you have A over 1 equals to V over T. You transpose again. And you're left back with a t equals to v but it has a friend because we're looking for t we already wrote for home v we have a and now we're looking for t so we're gonna have to put all of this over one and so we're gonna transpose a and we're gonna be left with t equal to v over a right so therefore t is equal to v over a there we have it. If A is equal to V over T, then V is equal to A times T, and T is equal to V over A. Cool. I didn't even speak about my nice cool drawing, but you get it. Car traveling in a stated distance to give you the velocity over in the amount of time will give you acceleration.